Hello everyone and welcome to Mr. Simplify's tutorials. This tutorial we explore evolutionary psychology by starting off with Darwin's evolutionary theory. We then dive deeper into evolutionary psychology, look at key concepts and look into two of its specific theories. There's also an interesting discussion at the end. I would appreciate if you provide your input to it and also if you like and share this tutorial. Now, if you've been on a first date with someone special, you'll probably remember the anxiety you were going through to figure out what clothes to wear, what fragrance to wear, about getting to the chosen venue on time, and so on. You probably also wanted to put your best foot forward. And this is not just because you saw and heard about other people doing so to impress potential mates, but it's also because we've been biologically programmed to choose the best mates for ourselves. This is one of the influences of evolution as explained by Darwin's evolutionary theory. So let's start off by looking into the evolutionary theory to begin with. We will later circle back to the interesting date example above and explore the forces in play. Evolutionary theory clarifies that survival success is not just the only driving force for evolution. Equally important to evolution is reproductory success. Darwin stated that out of all the traits that are inherited from parents to offsprings, those traits that aided an organism's survival and reproduction are transmitted at greater frequencies than other traits. So, the essence of evolution is to be able to develop traits that not just enable organisms to survive, in the world that we live in, but also to reproduce, pass on better traits for future generations, and also enable their survival and reproduction. So we inherit physiological and psychological adaptations to survive and reproduce. Let's look at some examples. An example of physiological adaptations to help us survive include having strong leg muscles to run away from certain predators. An example of psychological adaptations to help us survive is our inherent fear of snakes, even the harmless ones. Now, an example of psychological adaptations to help us reproduce is in play in the dating example that we discussed. Presuming that a male and a female are going out on the date above, most females will get tr attracted to a male who has a sense of humor, will potentially be able to provide for the family, will be able to physically protect her, and so on. This is specifically evolutionary psychology in play. Evolutionary psychology, therefore, deals primarily with the psychological adaptations that help us to survive and reproduce. The physiological traits that help us survive and reproduce are classified under evolutionary biology. American anthropologist John Tooby and his psychologist wife Lida Cosmides put forth some important principles or tenets of evolutionary psychology. Let's look at these now to get a deeper understanding of the traits of evolutionary psychology. Tenet 1. The brain works like a computer designed by natural selection to extract information from the environment. Connections between neurons are like pathways of information which ensure that new information from the environment is processed and the way we behaved to get good results in any situation is repeated if the situation arises again. Tenet 2. This proposes that to understand human behavior one would need to understand how their evolved computer processes information and how their thought patterns work. Tenet 3. The cognitive programs that exist in the human brain are adaptations of the behavior that successfully led to our ancestors surviving and reproducing. Tenet 4 elaborates on Tenet 3 and clarifies that some of the evolutionary traits developed because of our ancestors surviving and reproducing in circumstances very different to the world now. Although these adaptations aren't directly relevant today, they may still contribute to help us navigate some of the challenges we face today. Tenet 5. This proposes that your brain has several evolutionary pathways that exist today 
because of specific behaviors and lessons learned by your ancestors. The more diverse your specific pathways, the more challenges you will be able to overcome in your current life. Tenet 6. Your individual ability to analyze data, recognize patterns, and develop concepts in the model world comes from the specific evolutionary architecture you have inherited. Different people, therefore, have different capabilities and different ways of analyzing data in any context in the modern world. Now, let's look into two evolutionary psychology theories. The first is the sexual strategies theory. The sexual strategies theory is based on Darwin's sexual selection theory, which proposes that organisms develop several traits which are aimed at granting them an advantage in intrasexual competition and intersexual competition. The former relates to developing better traits than members of the same sex and the latter relates to developing traits that specifically appeal to the opposite sex. For instance, a male peacock's colourful spread of feathers have evolved to make them appeal more to the females, despite the fact that this potentially makes them easier to spot for predators. The sexual strategies theory looks at the differences in mindsets and mating strategies in men and women also. Now, Buss and Schmidt in 2011 states that the qualities women look for in men are different to what men look for in women because Women physically carry children and have a higher cultural expectation of raising children than men. This implies that women are more likely to employ long-term dating strategies than men who are naturally more open to having short-term sexual partners. They do both, however, have tendencies to employ short-term dating strategies depending on their circumstances in life. When it comes to their long-term dating strategy, Women have naturally evolved to mate with men who have more resources, have the qualities linked with acquiring more resources, and have the willingness to share their resources with them. Men, on the other hand, tend to look at youth, health, and acceptance in their long-term dating strategies. What they do have in common when it comes to long-term dating is that they would both want mates who are intelligent, kind, understanding, healthy, dependable, honest, loyal, loving, and adaptable. The theory does also state that there are countless other factors, including individual preferences and cultural factors that are always in play, and not everyone gets the partner they desire because of all of these factors combined. For example, many cultures employ arranged marriages, which basically inhibits individual freedom to act on their preferred mating strategies. Now we move on to the error management theory. Error management theory broadly deals with our decision-making abilities and our judgment in certain potentially risky situations. If a situation presents itself with no clear answers, a person will react to it and take decisions based on evolutionary learning and will thereby choose the option which has a risk-to-reward ratio that that individual person is comfortable with. For example, if you've ever done an adventurous activity like paragliding or skydiving, you know that there are certain people who are open to doing them, whereas others would consider these to be high-risk activities and would never choose to do them. This is because the people who choose to pursue such activities have a lower risk-to-reward threshold than the people who choose to never do it. And evolutionary psychology and the choices made by their ancestors plays a certain role in their decision-making in such activities. Now, have you ever seen YouTube videos of people jumping off bridges or walking at the edge of skyscrapers without harnesses, etc.? Very high-risk activities. Have you also thought to yourself, gosh, I would never do something crazy like this? Now, this is again your brain being programmed to choose a safer option as opposed to the people doing these activities and your brain telling you, to consider these activities as foolish and dangerous. The aspect of error management theory that deals specifically with heights is called the visual descent illusion. Now this illusion dictates that when looking down our brain is programmed 
to overestimate the distance between you and the ground. This is a deliberate mechanism built to prevent you from jumping and potentially hurting yourself. Another interesting EMT mechanism is called the auditory looming bias. Now this ensures that an object seems to be closer to you than it actually is when the sound produced by the object is approaching you. For example, a train moving towards you will appear a lot closer to you than it actually is to ensure that you get enough time to move away from it. So the essence of the error management theory is to study mechanisms which try and ensure that we are safe rather than sorry. Now continuing on with error management theory, an interesting use of the error management theory is to predict adaptive biases in the domain of dating in human beings. For example, a research in 2012 suggested one of the adaptive biases that exist in men is called the sexual overperception bias. This means that men have a tendency to interpret friendly gestures like a smile or a friendly touch from a potential mate as a sign of romantic or sexual interest. This is because they've been programmed to try and not miss out on an opportunity to reproduce. Now, let's move to our discussion point. Now, we looked at the short and long-term dating perspectives of men and women as proposed by Buss and Smith. Do you agree that men, in comparison to women, are more likely to be open to short-term dating than long-term dating? Does your experience in life align with this? And what are your thoughts about the sexual overperception bias? Let me know in the comment section. So that is all we had to cover in this tutorial. I thank you very much for your attendance as always. And as always, please share this content. Please like it. And if you're new here, please visit all of the other tutorials. And please subscribe and take very good care of your own self. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.